off. Hi guys, how are we all doing? Great, how about yourself? I'm not too bad, I can't complain. Lovely weather. My name's Neil, I'll be looking after you today, but I'm also a magician as well. And I'm just wondering whether I could magish for you, if that's okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna squeeze this one. Could you squeeze this one tight for me? Do not let me get to that, because I will cheat. Now watch. This one's gonna slowly vanish till it's now invisible, but it's in your hand. Could you toss that one in the air? Good catch. What the <laughs> It's never done that before. Wait. Now watch. Oh yeah, don't, don't squeeze them hard, I go blind. Okay, here we go. So if I squeeze this one, could you squeeze this one tight for me? Yeah. Perfect, now watch. This one's gonna go invisible. You've got the invisible one now, throw it over there. Good catch, have a look, perfect. Oh my god. It's never done that before. <laughs> so, pair of balls in my hand. Steady on. <laughs> there you go. So we got this. This is the invisible ball trick. As long as it rotates, it remains invisible until I slow it down and then move it over here like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't get out much. Your balls yeah, yeah, yeah. My balls get everywhere. You're gonna see that in a second. So here we go. So um, that's definitely on your side, isn't yeah. it? Make sure that I don't move it from my thumb or my forefinger, and I can't get it through here or here. I can't just drag it through, but watch here as it just starts to melt through. That's the first strand, and then the second one goes through. Hey. He's <laughs> so shocked, doesn't he? I'm about to say, it's like, does not compute. If I take the 10, like this, and put it in my pocket, how much have we got left here? One. Not one. No, it's the 11 pence. <laughs> we'll do it again. Look, there's the, there's the one. The one goes in my pocket. How much? Perfect. Are you left or right-handed? Right. You're right-handed. Drop your right hand to your side for me. Perfect. And you could just relax that right hand. But just leave that out there. Because what we're going to do, if I just take and make a little cross here, okay? These crosses are kind of tricky. Even though it's Sharpie marker, you could just take the cross off. It's here now. You ready? Nicely caught. Have a look. Amazing. There you go. You got smudged in the journey. Yeah. I'm going to hold it so you can see that that's definitely through. If I just take it, squeeze it, and pull, it comes off. Not only that, I could just throw it back on. Wow. Like this. Now, one of the techniques that. Then turn your wrist over like this. So, two coins here, one here, all the way through. Yeah? If we crisscross like this, this then fixes it here. Could you hold on to the ends for me? Now watch. You ready? Have a look. I know, I know. <laughs> All three coins jump from to over here. Perfect. Any questions? This is called velvet security rope. And the idea is if you want to try out an expensive bit of uh, jewelry, they thread it on like this. And basically, the shop, in, the shop person keeps a hold of this end, and then you can inspect it. So yeah. if you hold on to that. Yeah. But the good thing is, if you get the right kind of jewellery, you can actually just sneak it off the middle. Ah. Wow. Now, we'll do... Um, so we got... This is the world-famous 11 pence trick. Uh, it's not world-famous yet, but when I show everyone, it will be. And the idea of the 11 pence trick is if I take the 10, like this, and put it in my pocket, we're left with... Penny. No, it's the Lem Penny trick. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll do it again. There, there's the uh, the one. Do you know you could earn a fortune like that? I know. About eleven pence. There you go. Yeah, eleven <laughs> pence at a go. Uh, the one goes in here, leaving. Ten pence. No, it's the Lem Penny trick. <laughs> okay, we'll do it one more time. Eleven pence trick. Here we go. There's the ten. How much? Ten. No, no, no. It's a jar of jam. <laughs> <coughs> could you hold your hand out for me? Perfect. Could you do the same? Excellent. You know what? There's no trick here. I just pop up balls and strangers' <laughs> hands. See what happens. Yeah. So yeah, uh, if I squeeze this one, <laughs> yeah, squeeze this one tight for me. You got it? And then turn your wrist over like this. Now watch. You get the invisible one. There it is. Throw that one in the air for me. Good catch. Have a look. Hey. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, there's something I'm gonna have to bleep out later on the video. <laughs> yes, you know? Yeah. You know, we've all been there. Now watch. I'm gonna squeeze it. Squeeze this one tight for me. You got it? Now watch. You've got the invisible one. Throw that one in the air. Good catch. <laughs> 
test conditions this time. There, is that definitely through? Yep. Yeah, definitely yeah. through. I'm going to crisscross like this. Could you hold on to the ends for me? And in my back pocket, I've got a, a wallet, okay? And if I just grab it, I've got so much stuff in my pocket, it's a pain. There we go. There we go. It's going to go there. Now watch. If I take it, again, like at the beginning, I could take the ring off. And at that point, look, if I just push it here and squeeze, that's where it disappears entirely. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Do you always sneeze when your ring disappears? No, I'm just getting nervous now. Yeah, I don't get nervous now. Watch, look. Nothing in my hands. Everyone thinks the ring is in the wallet and it isn't. Because look, watch. Inside the wallet, it has to be. there's another wallet. And inside this wallet, is actually, you've seen this before. It's like the Russian dollar. And then inside this wallet, look. Yeah. Now there's actually inside this wallet, is a little square of cloth. Can you see that? Yeah. And it's sealed on all sides. They can't. But if I open it up like this, oh, watch. I'll do it slowly and carefully so there's no jiggery pokery. But right in the middle is your oh, ring. That is very good. There you go. That is very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. It's a completely different ring, but. Uh, <laughs> Where's, where's the nearest pawnbrokers? I don't know. We'll do. Uh, then drop your right hand to your side. Perfect. You can just relax that one. So everyone thinks it's the crosses. It's not. Uh, everyone thinks it's the paddle. It's not. It's the crosses. I'll show you what I mean. So if I put a cross here, like this, very quickly. I've got to be quick because this is Sharpie marker. Watch. I can actually take that mark off, and it lives here now. You ready? Perfect. I felt it. You felt it. You felt it come. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out your sleight of hand where it's happening, but I, I think know. it's pretty good. Now watch, if I take the queen, put it in here, like this, and squeeze, that's where the deck disappears the second time, it's back into the box. Oh, sorry, no, it's uh, inside the box. Some voodoo shit. That's some voodoo shit. I can't shit. figure that one out. There's no way. <laughs> Perfect. And with that, I will leave you all be. Thank you very much for your time. Oh,